Hello, hello, I'm Sam I Am, and welcome to Sam I Am Somewhere. Today, that somewhere is, we are going to the Burlington Regal for another out of the theater movie review. It's Thursday night, that means it's movie night, and tonight's movie is The Equalizer Part 3. I don't know what, what that, that means. I don't know what to expect, what's gonna be about. I'm very excited to check it out. Before we get to that kind of business, we got to take really good care of this chicken business. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go. We just watched Equalizer part three. Let's do our review. I think it was okay overall. Add them up. Your what was your first reaction? My first reaction? It had its moments. Don Solo, what was your first reaction? I will get you nine seconds. <laughs> same movie, just uh, number three. Just, just the same as the first two. Let's move on to the positive things. My positive things that Robert McCall did a good job, and the music did a great job, and the characters did a good job. Add them up, what was your positive things? I agree with Robert McCall. I always like to see uh, Denzel Washington movies, and uh, it was a pretty standard revenge flick. And uh, I liked the way a lot of the the two-bit gangsters was were dispatched. Also, I liked the funny parts as well. Don Solo, what, what was your positive things? Uh, I liked the little nods back to the first two. Oh, let's move on to the negative things. My negative things that it was slow in the middle of the movie. And it was boring a little bit. Adam, up. What were your negative things? Uh, uh, you know, there was boring parts in the beginning, but you had Denzel Washington, and you had like the scenery, this little town in Italy, to kind of get you through the boring parts. So, I would say my biggest negative thing was that I wasn't sitting on the Disney Wish when I was watching it. <laughs> Don Solo, what were your negative things? Uh, maybe just a little, little over the top of some of the action. Let's do the rating. I will rate it 7 out of 10. Adam up. what would you rate it? You got 9 seconds. Alright, so 9 seconds. Let me do this. Uh, I'm trying to be a little tougher. I'm giving all these movies like ratings that I think are too high. This one's an action movie. It's a revenge movie. It's got Washington in it. Uh, I'm going to go 6 out of 10. Don Solo, what would you rate it? Uh, I'll go with a 6 as well. It's just as good as uh, the other ones. Uh, but it's just the same movie over. You know, that's a good point, comparing it. Like, I really like the... Would it pay to go see it, or... Nah, just wait for streaming. The, uh, your choices are, are pretty slim, you know? So, I mean, I go, I pay to go see it, because we're, we're running out of options here with these strikes. Pay to go see it. Ah, oh, yeah, it's a coin toss on that one. You know, like I said, pay to go see the first one, Second one, no. This one, give or take. So, I paid to go watch it. Yeah, but I mean, because think, think about the options. Like, would you rather sit at home and watch Netflix and watch like a Liam Neeson generic uh, C grade action movie, or go see Denzel Washington on the big screen? Always pay to see Denzel. Well, 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 we did it all. We ate Chick-fil-A, we watched a movie, and we talked about it. Next week's movie is Undecided for now. So if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button. And you can subscribe anytime because it's free for you. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you real soon.